Finally, uh, for, for my last trick, uh, I'm going to need an audience uh, a volunteer for this one. Somebody that's going to be able to count down from five for me and, and back up from, from zero to five. Can I get an, an audience member volunteer? Ricardo Valdez, come on up, brother. Thank you for volunteering. We are going to show off the cash record function. Welcome, sir. Hello. I'm glad you can make it. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so I'd like you to stand right here. And on my cue, I'm going to ask you to go five, four, three, two, one, on, one, two, three, four, five. What we're showing off here is the cash record feature. I'm going to wait, okay, I'm going to wait until Ricardo gets to zero to show off the cash record feature. What this allows us to do is actually go back in time from the moment I hit record. Let's say you're uh, shooting sports or news or something like that, and the event that you are there to cover happens just a moment before you have an opportunity to hit the record button. Well, that's why you're going to want to watch that's why you want to have this cache record feature in your camera. It's constantly, constantly recording up to a certain amount of seconds that, uh, that you can set in the camera. So that the moment you hit record, it'll go back 5 seconds, 10 seconds, up to 15 seconds and include that in your recorded footage. And if you don't believe me, check it out. All right, let's get Mr. Ricardo here. You're looking great, man, by the way. Thank you. All right. Okay, so. Uh, first, I'll show you where it is. We are in the operations menu. In the record function. Uh, picture cache record. You notice that I've set it to on and between four and six seconds. I call it five. Uh, you do have plenty of options. You can go all the way down to 12 to 14, but for our purposes, five is going to be the exact right number. So picture cache is on. I am going to, uh, I'm going to wait until Ricardo counts down from five to zero before we hit record. So uh, Ricardo, when you are ready, and studio audience, this is my tally light, so you know um, there are no tricks here. Give it to me. Five, four, three, two, one. Recording. And now one, two, three, four, five, please. Okay, great. We're going to stop record here. And uh, another nice feature of this camera compared to the EX1 and the EX3 is how quickly it jumps between recording mode and thumbnail mode. So I'm going to hit this thumbnail button now and <laughs> wham! Here we are in thumbnail viewing mode. I know that seemed like a long time because it's live TV, but if I was on an EX3, I could have taken a nap, you know, and then woken up and here we are. Okay, so you remember we didn't hit record until Fernand, uh, excuse me, until Ricardo, Ricardo got done saying one. So let's play it back and see if we caught the five. Yeah, there it is. Right? Yeah. You get me here? All right. All right. Thank you for your participation, everybody. Ricardo, thank you very much. You did great. You did great. All right. Well, we've got a question coming in from the internet. Let's go to Debbie. Mark Bolden says, when you take the 160th shutter off, you'll do even better. I think he's meaning in the low light. Thank you very much for watching the show, Mark. We appreciate your your uh, participation, and you're absolutely right. If we took off the 160th shutter, it would probably look a lot better in low light. Thank you for that. A couple other cool shutter features. You can, uh, you can have this camera accumulate what they call slow shutter mode, where you're accumulating more light. Um, let's put it this way. You're going to record up to 64 frames of light in a single frame of recorded video. So if you're on the beach and you want to get some beauty shots, as long as there's not going to be a lot of movement, you can slow down the shutter and really build you know, multiple seconds of light into a single frame of recorded video, which will help you get even more light out of dimly lit subject matter. Now, if they're moving a lot, you're going to get blurs. You may want to go somewhere to an 8 or a 9 frame accumulation. But if it's not moving, go all the way up to 64, turn all the lights off, and you're going to see a beautiful image. So to the delight of my audience, that is the, oh no, just one more question from the audience. Camera, WJC3 right. would like to know. WJC3, thank you for watching, thank you for chatting. The camera is, uh, what is it, $19,800 with a lens. All right, $19,800 with a Fujinon high definition, two thirds inch lens. Pretty good. You still need to get a couple batteries, but the viewfinder is included. The uh, stereo five pin XLR microphone is included. Uh, you're really getting a lot of camera and a lot of glass for the money there. There is a version of the camera that's about $1,400 cheaper that does not come with a lens. Say you've already got a bunch of HD glass, 
uh, maybe you don't need a lens, that's fine. But even if you did have some HD glass, the recommendation coming from your friends at Midtown Video is get this piece of glass, man. For the 1500 bucks, you're getting about $6,000 of lens. One more question coming in from the internet. Uh, Mark Bolding wants to know if it comes with a tripod plate, and Sharon would like to know what is the weight. Uh, Sharon, welcome. Thank you for joining us. The weight of this camera, 9 pounds, 8 ounces. I know because I lost a bet to Fernando uh, on that very question. Uh, I thought it was under 9 and a half, and it was just 2, two ounces over. Mark Boulding, um, remind me of his question? Tripod plate. plate. The camera does not come with a tripod plate. Does not come with a tripod plate. But you've got so many sitting around, Mark. Come on. But if you want one, we'll get you one. No big deal. All right? And now, to the delight of my audience, we are going to leave behind the PMW 350. Thank you for, uh, thank you for humoring me there. I love cameras, and I love talking about them. Uh, hopefully, you guys will develop some questions, and, uh, and we'll answer those questions for you. You can email us. You can call us. And, uh, and we'll be happy to hear from you. Cool? Great. All right.